Hello, my name is Jasmine from Cisco Tech, and today I will be walking you through how to register a device with Smart Licensing Using Policy, or SLUP. Before I begin, as a prerequisite, we want to be sure you have a smart account set up with proper user access to virtual accounts that will be used for the device or devices we'll be registering. Today I will be displaying how to set up a CSR with Smart Licensing Using Policy by connecting directly to Cisco Smart Software Manager, or CSSM, using the Smart Transport as a method. First, we want to ensure the device has connectivity to CSSM. Let's test this by doing a telnet to smartreceiver.cisco.com on port 443. Now that we know we can communicate with Cisco servers, let's begin registration. Let's set the transport mode to smart and configure the transport URL using the following commands. License smart transport smart, license smart URL default. Using the default URL command will automatically configure the smart transport URL when the transport mode is set to smart. Now let's exit and be sure to save our configuration. Log into CSSM by going to software.cisco.com and click Manage Licenses under Smart Software Licensing. Navigate to the Inventory tab. Select the required virtual account from the drop-down list. Click General tab under this virtual account. Now, let's click New Token and the Create Token window is displayed. Here, let's enter a description for this token. Set a number of days the token to be active. Enter number of uses this token may have prior to expiration. This step is optional. Now, let's click Create Token. Your newly generated token will be shown in the list. Navigate to Actions tab next to the token and select Copy to copy your new token. Now, let us install the token on the device. This is done using the following command. License Smart Trust ID token, copy in your token, followed by an option of local or all, and then we can also use an optional keyword of force. Local will submit trust requests only for the active device in the high availability setup, and this is the default option. All will submit trust requests for all devices in a high availability setup. The optional force keyword will submit trust code requests in spite of an existing trust code on the product instance. Let us examine the output of show license status once again. Here, we can see our transfer method has been set to smart, along with our smart receiver URL, and we can also see that our trust code has been installed. We have now successfully registered our device with CSSM. Thank you. Have a great day.